Hey, my name is Devin and welcome to All Things Food, a culinary journal. On today's episode, we'll be making some super soft handmade rotis. This is the perfect tasty addition that you should definitely try out to elevate your next curry experience. So if you're ready, sit back, relax, and let's get cooking. We're going to need some boiling water for this recipe. So start off by turning on your kettle. In a bowl, we're going to add two cups of flour. Sifting really isn't required here, but go ahead if you feel the need. Add in 20 grams or two tablespoons of soft butter to the flour. Canola oil is a must for this recipe, so add in two tablespoons to the mixture. Then we'll season our mixture with one teaspoon of salt. I know it's really difficult to see here, but yeah, I put it in. Once the kettle is boiled, leave it for a couple minutes before adding 250 milliliters or one cup of water to the mixture. The water should be really hot, but not boiling. With everything covered in water, work quickly to combine the ingredients together. I tend to use a fork to start this mixing process as the dough is still quite hot and I really don't want to burn my hands. Once the dough comes together, remove it from the bowl and we will knead it for a couple minutes. We're going to knead the dough until it becomes super soft and all the ingredients start to combine together, giving the dough almost a pillowy like texture. Give your dough a little boop on the top just to make sure everything is all mixed in well. Now it's time to divide the dough roughly into equal pots. I'm using a dough scraper here to cut the dough into six equal pieces. You could also make each piece just a little bit smaller and stretch the recipe to make about eight final pieces. Now that the dough is sectioned into six or eight pieces, Roll each piece into a ball and set them aside for later. Now we're going to move to our stove and put a pan on a medium high heat just to warm up while we start rolling out the dough. Lightly dust your rolling surface with just a little bit of flour. Then start by pressing out your first dough ball with the palm of your hand forming a small disc. Then lightly dust the top of the dough and then begin to roll it out with your rolling pin. Once the dough forms an oval, flip it over giving the dough a quarter of a turn as you flip it. Repeat the process until the dough is a couple millimeters thick. The dough should be thin enough to handle, but without tearing it. Now let's transfer the freshly rolled roti to the hot pan. It should be flat and not overlapping in any areas. As the roti begins to cook, little pockets of steam form, giving the roti an airy texture. Once a few bubbles emerge, flip the roti over and brush it with some melted butter. Wait for the roti to develop those lovely little air bubbles again and then flip it over. The roti should have a few toasted brown spots on both sides before removing. Remove the roti and place it on a plate lined with a clean tea towel just to keep it warm. And there you have it, freshly made, soft and delicious, handmade roti. Definitely give this one a shot when you're preparing your next curry. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I will be creating more videos in the weeks to come, so if you'd like to see more of me just cooking in my kitchen, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.